Spend the weekend with me as a full-time food blogger living in London. Starting with Friday lunch at Battersea Power Station, where I was invited to try the brand new Portuguese tapas restaurant. It was gorgeous, especially the croquettes, and shout out to the fish jug because that is hilarious. Then I went to Uniqlo to find the TikTok viral vest with a built-in bra. Sorry, what is this sorcery? And then it was time for date night at Gravity. We wanted to come here for so long. We started outside and got these delicious, juicy, crispy chicken burgers, load of waffle fries. My God, they were so good. Anyway, this place was sick. They had VR, go-karting, interactive bowling. We did crazy golf and the arcade and we were literally there for hours. It was so much fun. Such a good date night spot. Then it was time for Saturday brunch. We went to Caravan to try their new menu. We were really, really impressed with this brunch. It was so flavoursome. A moment for this chocolate orange French toast, please. And we had a little wander up to Borough Market. And because we just used them, we didn't buy loads, but we did try quite a few samples, particularly from this olive oil place. The truffle oils and the lemon oils were next level. And it would not be a trip to Borough Market without a visit to Brotherhead Bakery. If you know, you know. We went for the cheesecake flavour this time. So good. And we made our merry way across the river, found this really cute little pub. This was in Monument. Popped in for a little glass of wine. Tried to get some cute videos, but <laughs> unsuccessful. And then it was time for some rooftop cocktails at Savage Garden. This was a collaboration. We got to try lots of different drinks. It was so good. Then we went up to Shoreditch. Popped into La La Land for these iconic beer tacos. They are honestly next level. We finished the night at this really cool bar in Shoreditch called Taya and Elementary. This was voted second place in the world's 50 best bars and your girl had been dying to go and i really love this place i definitely struggled trying to drink their signature one sip martinis we called it a night after that I woke up on sunday with a gorgeous butter and crust delivery on my doorstep what a godsend then after having a bit of a lazy afternoon we headed out to south bank market we were supposed to be going to the frenchie to promote their food but we were too late it was so sad so instead i got a falafel and halloumi wrap from this place it was really really good and harry got curry and an onion bhaji and all the street food places are shut so we had a little wander along south bank ended up having our second donut of the weekend but they were reduced so it'd be rude not to right also when there's fun to Le Mans, i am there we finished our walk headed home and it was time to cozy up on the sofa and watch love island